Hello everyone and welcome to another Scroller Box unboxing video. This month we'll start by uh, checking out the Stadler Norris colored pencils. Uh, we got a box of 12 which is very generous. Those pencils do not have any um, names or numbers on them so uh, you, there's no way to find out what, color, what colors they are. Um, I really like the feel of them. The um, the coat on the wood casing is very soft and it almost feels rubbery. It feels really good and I like the weight also. They sharpen very well um, and the uh, the core of the pencil is very resistant. It's very hard to break. But more about these in a little while. The uh, Artline fine liners, the blue one and the black one, uh, they were very fun to use. Uh, they're not waterproof, but um, I really especially like the um, the tip of the black one. Um, it's a uh, fine line, and it's a 0 0.4, and um, it's extended. It's longer than usual, so you can really see what you're doing, so I really like that. Now for the Artline Metallic Poster Marker, um, it's a beautiful color. I like the metallic color. Um, I'm not sure what to say. I, I rarely use these. Uh, I found that when I used it, it was not the ink didn't flow as well as I'd like it. To, I'd like it to flow. It's a bit dry in my opinion. So I like juicy markers. This was not a juicy marker. And on top of that, it was the exact same color as the Kuretake Wink of Luna, which is a brush marker with real bristles. Um, be again, beautiful color, but pretty much the same as the uh, Artline metallic marker, although the Artline one I think is slightly lighter. Um, and um, same with the uh, Wink of Luna. I, I wish that it was uh, flowing a bit more, the ink was juicier. Um, the marker is waterproof and the uh, Wink of Luna isn't. And finally, we have the Kuretake Post Chalk Dry Wipe Marker. So I'm not sure what to make of that. This is supposed to um, write uh, clear and then as the ink dries, the white will appear. It's a white chalk marker. And I tried it on colored paper and it didn't really show very well. So I did a little research and this is what I found. I found that they come in different colors and they work very well on non-porous surfaces. So I guess uh, paper is uh, not a very good surface for it. Um, and if you use them on mirrors or filing cabinets or dry erase boards, uh, you can just erase and wipe them off. So this is pretty cool. But um, I tried them on the mirror for instance and again I didn't have very good results. So maybe I get a dot one, I'm not sure. But needless to say, I just didn't use it for my drawing this time because there was no point. Um, but anyway, here's what I did. The theme this month was Shattered Self. Um, so it's the second time in a row that we have a pretty dark theme. Uh, so I didn't want it to be too dark, so actually I went on my uh, sketchy app and checked out the queue of all the pictures that I had saved. And I found this one that I thought was really cute. Um, so I'm not sure what that cute little boy is sad about, but to me it, it fit with the theme. So back to the colored pencils. As I was saying, the core um, is um, not easily broken, so it's very easy to sharpen without any damages. And it doesn't really leave any residues on the paper, so that's really nice. However, it also means that the core is pretty hard and um, the color uh, doesn't really spread. Well, it does spread. Um, actually, the colors blend very well together, but um, it's not very buttery at all. And so um, not that much fun. And you cannot really layer them very much. You probably can do three, four layers maximum. So. Um, I didn't really enjoy using those pencils. 
They advertise them as um, having brilliant colors. A uh, not so true. Um, they're, they're not very pigmented and so even if you push really hard on the lead it's not going to give you a very saturated color. Um, I try to add layers upon layers and I get very light colors. So again for I'm a color pencil artist so it was not very enjoyable to use them. Uh, I really struggled with them. Maybe to use them uh, for coloring books but even that, um, I like bright colors, so they, these didn't give me bright colors. I didn't like it. As far as the other supplies are concerned, like I mentioned, I didn't use uh, the post-chalk uh, marker because it was useless. Um, let's see, the paper, I totally forgot to use the paper. And I was just so uh, set on trying to finish uh, to complete my sketchbook, I have one more page left and my sketchbook will be all finished. Um, I guess I had my mind set on using it, so yeah, it's too bad. I'll have to use the paper with something else. I don't know, but I'll put it on the side. I liked uh, both fine liners. The, um, like I mentioned earlier, the, um, the black one, the, the finer one, um, has a very long tip. And that's pretty cool because you can easily see what you're lining. Um, the tip is not really close to the barrel. So I thought it was really cool. I, I really enjoyed using that. And for the uh, art line marker and the uh, Kuretake Wink of Luna, I really have mixed feelings for those. Um, I use them for the background and it was really painful. Um, th again, the, the ink didn't flow very well and I didn't find it very enjoyable. But um, I have a feeling, well, first of all, I don't really use the, those poster markers very much. I might save them for when I have to make a poster. But uh, for the uh, Kuretake Wink of Luna, maybe if I use it for finer things, details, or things like that, I think it might uh, be better for that. So maybe I didn't use them for the right things. Uh, but I did have fun. Um, I was very, very frustrated with the colored pencils. Uh, but I think in the end it didn't look too bad. Um, I liked using the uh, black liner um, on the, um, the torso or the upper body because it kind of gave it a um, a comics look look like um, the kid is a half uh, superhero and half just a cute little kid anyway i hope you enjoy um and i'll see you soon with another video bye